Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Jordan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Christmas movie up on. So, I figured I would review a sequel, because as I stated multiple times before, if I reviewed one installment of a franchise, I might as well go for the entire thing. I mean, unless there's like a specific reason not to, but that's like the rule of thumb. But anyway, the review is going to be about, yep, Jingle All The Way 2, starring Larry the Cable Guy. And, why? Oh, come on. It, not even the first one was that good. I know people liked it, yet somehow that warrants a sequel. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Am I being pranked here? Uh, where's Ashton Kusher? Is this an actual thing? I mean, really? Ah, shit. It's Mr. Monkey. How many times do I have to tell you I'm not gonna buy this garbage? Ever! Go and get. I mean, yeah, really, go and get. Turn around. Turn your little monkey ass around. Yeah, yeah, that's, that. yeah, turn around. There. Go through that door. Yeah. Go and get. Anyway. And also, there was a huge time gap. Because the sequel was made in 2014, whereas the original was created and released in 96. Yeah. What? It's almost 20 years apart. Almost. Uh. So if you wanted to catch on the popularity, you think you would have done it a lot sooner. Uh, that makes no sense. <sighs> and, um. And nobody ever really makes a remark on what happened before. And you, you could have just easily watched this one first, the sequel, and then the part one, or watch part one first, and then the sequel. It's not gonna make a difference, like, at all. Just, uh, boy. And some people felt like their childhood was ruined because this movie was so bad. I mean, newsflash, the first, the first one was not that good either, at all. Yeah, the made Jingle All The Way sequel for whatever reason. The film was produced by the 20th, 20th Century Fox and WWE Studios. Yeah, really. The movie picture division of WWE and was released straight to video by Fox on December 2nd of 2014 on air uh, promotion from WWE, uh, which occurred on its uh, weekly episode events. So, yeah. Which, by the way, I didn't see the promotion at all. And, uh, I just I actually saw the disc, the DVD, on uh, some store. Really? Oh, what was the what, When did I actually see it in the store? I forgot what store it was. It must have been a Best Buy or something. I, I don't remember, but I saw it. I saw it. Surprised me that there's a sequel. I just forgot about it. That was a little while ago, actually, but yeah. Just wow, they really have the stupid slow to make a movie. I mean, I understand that, you know, the film industry is a, you know, it's a, it's business. Don't get me wrong, I understand that, but why? I, I, well, like I said, people did like the original for some reason. You should have the head examined. Mr. Monkey, did I just tell you no? What the hell's the matter with you, man? I mean, really? Ugh. Didn't I snap your neck twice in the previous video? Anyway. As usual, I have to talk about the plot. So let's begin, shall we? Even though I feel like I'm shooting because it's basically the same story 
It's the same damn plot all over again. There's two men competing. Uh, for the, looks like a new toy out in the market. And there's this kid that wants said toy. And the toy itself isn't all that easy to uh, grab because it's really popular or whatever. And of course, uh, the main character, the dad, has to go on this grand adventure. It's the same thing. It's the same damn thing. How lazy do you have? <sighs> all right, all right. Like I said, like I said, I have to talk about the plot. Even though I think it's pointless because it, it's the same thing. Anyway, <sighs> the truck driver. Is our, is our main character, of course. His name is Larry. He's competing with the current husband of his ex-wife, whom happens to be this wealthy business guy named Victor. And, of course, both men are, are of course, competing with each other for the, uh, the daughter. The daughter's affection, to be more exact. And, um, it's kind of weird. But, um, of course, uh, the truck driver and the guy, Larry, he does attempt to find out what the daughter wants most. Uh, of course, uh, he uses, uh, this letter that she wrote to Santa. And, uh, of course, it's badly written, by the way, which he makes a remark on. And, uh, the thing is, yeah, they were having like this little dinner or whatnot, and one day he offers to send a letter off to Santa himself, and which he allows him to do, of course. And then, uh, of course, he then tries to buy what he believes is her heart's desire. You know, this kind of teddy bear or whatever, uh, this bear toy, as you can call it, which happens to be the toy of the season. Again, just like the original, in the original movie. However, the new stepdad, Victor, I was just saying a moment ago, uh, sends his spy, this guy, he employs, uh, to follow Larry around, and, uh, so he can pretty much be the one to fulfill that little girl's dreams. And of course, uh, I guess he's supposed to be the bad guy of the story, I guess? Whatever. Uh, Victor is determined to make it uh, impossible for Larry to obtain this said toy. And, uh, oh yeah, it's only one part of the film where the, um, well, yeah, the, the character actually buys, like, every stuffed toy, uh, in every single store. Okay, that seems, like, really wasteful, but okay. And, uh, but yeah. And there's been one part of this film where, uh, our main character Larry tries to find a different way because he's getting desperate, I guess. He pretends to be homeless at one point and tries to, uh, get a toy some other kind of way without paying for it or whatever. But, yeah, this just, it's, it feels overly simplistic. It's supposed to be padded in some ways. And yeah. This movie, this movie, this movie blows. It's, it's terrible. But, okay, a lot, aside from the lazy storytelling, the acting is not very good at all. There's nothing funny. It's supposed to be a comedy, but there's nothing funny like, at all. <sighs> Heaven on my, what the hell, man? What the hell? Mr. Monkey! Hold one second. I would say that this movie is pointless, there's no purpose, but then again, that seems rather redundant in this case, because not even the first one was any good, so, yeah. The dialogue is not well written, the characters are one-dimensional, so if anything, I can say that this movie is pretty boring, 
It's really boring. And what I don't understand is that how is it a, it's it's okay to have a scene like this? That's rather revealing in for a movie like this. That's perfectly okay. Really? But then if I if I have a Disney stuff like this, oh yeah. And then suddenly everybody would have been like Yeah, I don't find the characters memorable at all. I mean, yeah, okay, I know they were trying to go for this, like, this cutesy type of a movie, but it just ended up being, like, really cringe. Like, really cringe. Yeah, uh, of course, this is gonna be one of those types of movies that's extremely corny, which it is. And, obviously, on top of that, it's gonna look cheap as well. But then again, the first movie looked pretty, uh, bad as well. You think about it, so yes, it's not like it was expected to be looking good anyway to begin with. You think about it, but yeah, it's just um, something I would say that at the end of the day, it's just forgettable, really forgettable. It, it really had no heart, really, and more like more like a lump of coal, if anything, I guess you would say. So overall. This was just one big snooze fest of a movie. And the first one was not good, and the second was not good. Why was this a good idea? I don't know. It doesn't expand on point anything. It doesn't do what a sequel should do or whatnot. But, yeah, it's okay. To be fair, my expectations weren't really all that high to begin with. Like, at all. So... I, I guess that's that's something. It did disappoint me because my expectations weren't high to begin with. But still, it would have been nice if this movie was good. So yeah. All right, here we go. Have the movie right here. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I destroyed it. Oh, a little piece right here. Well, at least I don't have to have this fucking junk in here anymore. All right, yeah, folks. This, yeah, I just didn't think that it was needed whatsoever, like at all. The music was bland. The characters are bland. The entire movie is bland. It's like a flavorless gum. <sighs> but yeah, of course. Of course. This was not, yeah. I didn't even know they even made a sequel until like much later. I didn't even know this existed in the year it premiered. I found about this like years, years, years down the line. And even then, it didn't stick with me because I forgot about it until I finally watched it this year, of course. Ugh. Yeah, that should, that should tell you something right there. Whatever. Just, wow. Just, wow. So, yeah, folks. And, yeah, I can say that watching it once, that's fine. I'm not watching it again. No. No, I mean, this there is the Blu-ray version that came out as well, but I'm not gonna buy the Blu-ray. You kidding me? No. Well, I just waste the money just just to trash talk it. Nah, that seems like a waste of money. And you know, Blu-rays can be pretty expensive as well. So, you not revisiting this experience. You, you. Oh, but yeah, yeah. Waste a cost of waste of time, but then again, so was the original. So, yeah, at the, at, the, at the end of the day, folks, at the end of the day, you could do worse, and I've seen worse. It's just your generic run up the mill family movie that's trying to be one of those feel good movies kind of a thing, I guess. And, uh, Hey, it's always about families kind of thing. When it comes to these kinds of movies, I don't, 
Okay, most of the time, anyway. It's about family. Ugh. What kind of be just, uh, uh, single, some smug single that has no family? No friends. Whatever. Yeah, this movie goes on the depression that his family is going through no struggle. His family is good. His family is great. It's always the fact that you can go through thick and thin with your family because family is always great. Family is always good. Which, when you think about it, that's actually really unrealistic because unfortunately, it's not always like that when you actually come down to it. Yeah, why not do a Christmas movie where families can be toxic? Oh yeah, but we can't have that, huh? Yeah, there's no charm to this movie at all whatsoever. And, um, the script itself is of course very univial. And it really goes overboard on the stupid. And, I mean, I've, I'm, I get that try to use slapstick and whatnot, but it doesn't work. And, of course, like I was saying with the production value in this movie, well, it's supposed to be a direct to video sequel, so of course the production value isn't going to be all that good with a tight budget like this. But still, nothing's really well constructed at all. I mean, the story itself, what little story it has, I mean, is very straightforward. There's, it feels like there's no substance, really, like at all. There's no character or development, there's no real plot development, it's just very straightforward when you think about it. Yeah. It doesn't break any new grounds, it just does the same shit we've seen before. Even from other Christmas movies, I could easily compare this to other Christmas movies. And it still feels the same thing. It does very typical Christmas stuff when it comes to this kind of storytelling. It does the same exact thing. So yeah. It feels like a repeat of the original film and it feels like a repeat from other movies as well because it's very similar to, to all, like, other Christmas movies I've watched before. So yeah, like I said, it's pretty boring. Ugh. Well, I don't know what they were thinking. Were they smoking something? Maybe. I don't know. Perhaps they were. Well, at least maybe I should have been. Maybe I should have been drunk while watching this. At least it would have been more of a pleasurable experience. Ugh. Like a, that sounds like a better deal for me. But yeah, folks. Yeah, yeah, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. It was garbage. Yeah, I'll give this film an overall rating of a 4.8 out of 10. I'll give this 4.8 out of 10 for me. As always, thank you for watching, and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh yeah, later. You know what, maybe, maybe I'll get drunk now. Whatever, man. Whatever.